dear friends this is srinivasan who is having more than 30 years experience in the construction industry trying to give you a small presentation on the quality assurances and quality control in asphalt work outline of the presentation is as follows quality control at batching plant quality control at site responsibilities of inspectors and technicians Defects Quality in asphalt control and batching plant. plant. Batching plants, how it is works out. The basic parts of it, the batching plant is as follows, which is explained in the diagram. Important properties asphalt inspectors must look for. Lack of lack top sensors are to be checked with work blend equation. Total degree are to be checked. with work blend equations required temperature ought to be uniform blend ought to be liberated from the unnecessary fins when i say blend it is a mixed design blend ought to be liberated from free black top blend ought not be excessively earthy colored or dark blend ought not be excessively fat blend out not stream in truck blend out not deliver smoke on release from the container enamorous aggregate particles ought not to be uncoated and so forth inspection of stock piled materials do aggregate meet the quality details are legitimate sizes being delivered palatable capacity division of reserves no isolation is permitted mineral filler kept dry no pernicious materials as far as possible quality control during mixing plant inspection of truck beds mixing of aggregates mixing time weighing of ingredients that is aggregates filler and bitumen temperature of the mixer that is easy to uniform appearance of the mix plant. rate Rowing of production should not coordinate test starts to be taken paving from the truck requirements one example compromising of four sample test taken in a little amount to shape a composite example this image will show you how we are collecting the sampling from the delivery requirement of hot mix asphalt required temperature ought to be uniform mix ought to be liberated from unreasonable fines mix ought to be liberated from free black top huge totals that means aggregates ought not to be uncoated appearance ought to be uniform ought not to be signed ought not be excessively earthy colored or dim bitumen testing bitumen testing is based on the ASTM as different as follows penetration test as per ASTM D5 ductility test ASTM D113 softening point test ASM D36 specific gravity test ASTM D70 viscosity test ASTM D4402 flash and fire point test ASTM D3143 float test ASTM D139 determination of water content ASTM D1461 determination of loss on heating ASTM D6 factors that affect the stability as follows gradation of the aggregates hardness of the aggregates shape and surface structure of the aggregates quantity of asphalt degree of compaction at least 95% day compaction is required temperature specification of marshall method for jmf 
this has been defined as follows that is as per punjab uh, things and as per national highway authority asphalt mixing temperature as per national highway authority specifications asphalt cement shall be mixed at a temperature as required to achieve a nematic viscosity of 150 to 300 centi stokes typical plant mixing temperature is 155 degree to 163 degree centigrade and at no time shall the mixing temperature exceed 163 degree centigrade hot mix asphalt paving inspection checklist before construction traffic signal plan by venture engineer has affirmed the production plant has been confirmed by approved research facilities quality plan has been approved recently developed base courses are appropriately arranged compacted and evaluated the ready base course is consistent with determined line evaluation and cross area the surface is perfect and liberated from dust previously utilization of preparing and track hot mix asphalt paving inspection checklist before construction fat or rich asphalt patches or material on existing pavement is removed before tacking tack coat is applied to existing surfaces of non absorbent materials on resurfacing projects grades of existing pavement are checked with the proposed grades so that limit for wedges leveling course is established elevation of intersecting roads are checked so that the post surfacing will blend in with existing pavement condition drainage conditions are checked before resurfacing existing pavements hot mix asphalt paving inspection checklist during construction HMA mixer is placed with approved paving machine the screed is kept hot clean and properly adjusted during pavement operations cold or dirty screeds will pull or tear the surfaces of the mat also see that the screed has been set and checked for a proper crown the thickness mechanism is not over manipulated changes in thickness should be made gradually and only when necessary the texture of unrolled surface is checked to determine the uniformity adjustment of a screed tamping bars or vibrators feed screws hopper feed <coughs> and other adjustment points should be checked to ensure uniform spreading of the mix the thickness of each layer is frequently checked by measuring the depth before rolling starts see also that compacted material is placed to the planted thickness hot mix asphalt paving inspection checklist during construction the temperature of the mix is often as possible checked in tracks and paver by drenching type thermometer infrared temperature measure to see that the blend is over the predefined temperature conveyance tickets are gathered and marked upon acceptable position of mixing on the street yield of first round truck loads is checked by looking at material utilized in the cleared zone with the material required yield checks are proceeded at ordinary spans the mix is spread by hand just at areas unavailable to machine mix hot mix asphalt paving inspection checklist during construction if segregation of material occurs operations has to be suspended and the cost determined and corrected the paver operates at a speed of rate of production compatible with the planned production and delivery rate continuous notice is taken of both transverse and longitudinal joint 
construction. See also that material at the joint is kept high enough to allow for a compaction. Each course is rolled soon after material is placed and a time when the roller will be supported without undue displacement of hair cracking. Hot mix asphalt paving inspection checklist during constructions. Coordinate with the mixing plan to maintain the rate of mixing and rate of paving. Weather condition of the day etc. Asphalt content should be checked with job mix formula. Aggregate gradation should be checked with job mix formulas. Required temperature should be uniform. Mix should be free from asphalt. Mix should be too brown or grey. Mix should not produce smoke or discharge from the hopper. Large aggregate particles should not be uncoated etc. Stages of rolling. Breakdown rolling. The initial rolling is done by 8 ton to 2 axle or 12 ton 3 axle tandem rollers as soon as the roller can safely get into the mixer. Breakdown roller rolling compacts the material to obtain practically all the density it will receive. This requires usually 2 to 3 passes of the roller. Maximum speed of breakdown roller is 3 miles per hour. Intermediate rolling. This is done by employing pneumatic roller with 45 psi tire pressure immediately behind the breakdown roller. It imparts a very high density, particularly in top 25 mm, that is 1 inches, or so by netting the mixers into a compact position without particular crushing. A pneumatic roller usually operates at 15 miles per hour during intermediate rolling. Final rolling. This is accomplished by a 12 ton 3 axle tandem roller which adds little roller. more density to the materials Hot mix and removes plant all the irregularities checklist. left by after left construction. By. The completed surface is profiled by the contractor within the site of the project engineer. The profile information will be given to the project engineer inside 24 hours after arrangement of the asphalt. Shoulders are finished as quickly as time permits after culmination of surface seminar or any path utilized by a traffic. Conveyance tickets are finished to show absolute material utilized, area, deposition and so on. <coughs> <coughs> some major defects in asphalt roads and repair methodologies. One is bleeding, rutting, distortion, raveling, cracks. Bleeding. Bleeding or flushing is the upward movement of asphalt in an asphalt pavement resulting in the formation of a phloem or a asphalt on the surface. Causes. Too much asphalt in one or more of the pavement courses. Too heavy a prime take coat. Overweight traffic. Repairing methodologies. Repeated application of hot sand. Slag screening. Hot track screening to blot the excess asphalt. This is the image of bleeding of the asphalt. Distortion. Major causes of distortion in asphalt pavement as follows. Too little compaction of the pavement course. Too many fines on the surface mixer. Too much asphalt. Swelling of underlying courses or settlement. This is the image of distorted uh, asphalt road. Rutting. It is a channel like grooves, those occur in the wheel track of a pavement. The main causes are poor compaction, fine graded mix, excessive asphalt content for low air voids, high temperature, 
excessive wheel and traffic loads, natural aggregates, dunes and more than 7.5 percentage of the fine aggregates, low softening point. This is the images which is showing the rutting of the asphalt. Raveling, lack of compaction, construction in thin lift during cold weather, dirty or disintegrated aggregates, too little asphalt in the mix, overheating of asphalt mix, mixes very close to coarse, action of water, sensitive aggregate refuse asphalt coating due to special charges anti stripping material must be used this is the image of a raveling in the asphalt road types of cracks in pavement fatigue alligator cracks these are interconnected cracks forming a series of small blocks resembling of alligator skin causes Extensive deflection of the surface over unstable subgrade or, or lower course of the pavement or heavy headings. <coughs> Repair. Deep patch, skin patch, aggregate steel coat patch, slurry sleeve patch. Edge crack. Longitudinal cracks. One third meter from the edge of the pavement with or without traverse cracks branching towards shoulder causes due to lack of lateral support settlement or yielding the material under the cracked area due to result of poor drainages repairs fill as far as reflection cracks fill with asphalt emulsion slurry edge joint cracks it is a separation of joints between the pavement and the soldier causes alternative wetting and drying Beneath the shoulder surfaces, shoulder settlement, mixed shrinkages, and trucks threading the joint. Repair. Improve the drainages by getting rid of the condition that rapes water. Types of cracks in pavement. Lane joint cracks, longitudinal separation between the adjoining lanes. Causes a weak seam between the adjoining lanes in the course of pavement. Repair, same as reflected cracks. Reflection cracks, these type of cracks occur when bituminous surfaces course is laid over the existing cement concrete pavement with some cracks. These cracks reflect in the same pattern on bituminous surface as beneath cement concrete pavement surfaces. Repair, fill with asphalt emulsion slurry or a light grade of emulsified asphalt mixed with the fine sand. Shrinkage cracks. Cracks forming a series of large blocks, usually with a sharp corner or angles. Causes volume change in the asphalt mix or in the base subgrade. Repair. Fill cracks with asphalt emulsion slurry, followed by a surface treatment or a slurry seal over the entire surface. Types of cracks in pavement. Slippage cracks. Constant shape cracks that point in the direction of thirst of wheels on the pavement surface. Causes lack of good bond between the surface layer. Maybe due to dust, oil, rubber, dirt, water or other non-adhesive materials between the two courses. Mixer having high set content. Improper compaction during construction cause the band layers of broken. Repair. Remove the surface layer around the crack to the point where good bond between the layer is found. Then fill area with a plan mixed asphalt material. Thank you for watching this presentation. Kindly subscribe, like and share which will motivate me for a good presentation. In case of any queries,